Hello and welcome to Sophisticated Toy Reviews. I am Sir George Rumpelstiltskin and today on Sophisticated Toy Reviews we will be looking at My Little Pony buildable vinyl figures. Here we will look at the packaging and then open it and judge it. First we will look at the packaging. Here we can see our six main characters Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, Applejack, Twilight Sparkle, Rarity and Pinkie Pie and for some reason off to their side another Pinkie Pie which does feel a little redundant. Here in the corner we can see that there are six to collect and if we are to assume that the six are the six on the cover, inside this packaging is one of the six of the main variety. On the back we can see all the generic warnings and safeties. Here we can see children zero to three years old are not allowed to use this product and over here we can see that children who are three years or older are allowed to use this product. Children who are at three years old will have to speak to their parental advisor to see whether or not they are fit or suit to use this toy. We will now proceed to open this package and look upon the toy inside. Now since we are so sophisticated we have opted not to use a pair of scissors but a skewer. Let us... Hold on. Ah. There we go. Ah! We can now observe and see that the character that we have gotten is in fact Rainbow Dash. Wow. Looking at this, we can judge that this toy has a very odd model, one which I have personally not seen before, especially not without hair. Ah, now this is a rarity. No, not the character, but we can see that there is a cutie mark on this side, and we turn it around, there is a cutie mark on this side too. This is very, very rare in My Little Pony merchandise, so we will give a short applause politely and off screen as that is a little too uncouth for this show. Applause over. Now then, we will proceed to open the hair and tail, put it on this pony and see how well it looks. We will again use our skewer. Here we can see our two components. We can deduce that this is the hair piece and this is the tail. Let us put the tail on first. Little children may be advised to look away from that scene just in case the parents do not approve. Here is the hair piece. The hair piece has fallen. I will now pick it up. I have found the hairpiece, and we will again attempt to attach it to Rainbow Dash's head. Ah. It now fits. As we can observe, this hair does not look identical to how Rainbow Dash's hair looks in the TV show. In fact, if we look at this packaging, it's not very well representative on there either, especially since on this packaging, we can see that Rainbow Dash's hair is red and purple. Rainbow Dash's hair, however, is only red from the front. It does have purple on it, but not to the extent as seen on the packaging. Now, I will proceed to compare this one to another which I have bought, another buildable vinyl figure, and we will compare and contrast. Between the two, we will see if their pieces can fit together producing humorous results. I have observed on a second glance that you can in fact open it from the corner, leaving no need for a skewer. It is a little uncouth, as I do like my skewer, but it is a little more convenient. Ah. As we can see, the second toy which I have collected is a Rainbow Dash. Ha! 
Ha! I have never laughed so much in my life. We can confirm that on the second toy, this hair is still in fact really hard to put on, which we shall deduct a point from the final grade. Four. We now have both ponies in their completed form, and we can conclude that their appearance is very similar due to the fact that they use... So oh. We have confirmation that the hairpiece is in fact not very stable when moving about, even with my delicate hands. On the inside of the packaging, I have observed that there is in fact a piece of paper which shows again what is on the front of the packaging, our six ponies in a similar orientation, even with the excessive redundant second Pinkie Pie, and we can take a look at the back, which in fact has many warnings in many different languages. And we can also observe that here it says only children which are three and above, but not specifying the children zero to three not being able to use it. It is a little ambiguous, unfortunately. Here we can conclude our sophisticated review with it fell off again. Here we can conclude our sophisticated review. Now, albeit these are not high quality, these are very much higher quality than other toys I have reviewed in the past, which is fortunate. So, I will give these a B minus. Good, but not exemplary. Next on sophisticated toy reviews, many boxes. Don't worry, this channel from now on will only be sophisticated toy reviews. Always sophisticated toy reviews. We will only have sophisticated toy reviews! Oh, that's my... that's my lamp. That was so hard to record. Oh my 